to start right. this off. Hello, everyone. I'm the anime hero. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting you to like introduce yourself too with me. So. Hello, okay. Well, hey, anime hero. I am Bond Stampede. Well, so. you, you don't have to be formal, formal with me. We know who we are. Like, I just meant like introducing ourselves to the audience, but <laughs> whatever. Okay, so this is going on the Phantom Group channel, and Kai, you, or Vaughn, or I don't know, I'm still going to call you Kai regardless of what yeah. <laughs> happens. But, uh, cool. but yeah, so in our last podcast, we were talking about, you know, um, whitewashing and all that stuff and live action anime in interpretations, and this seems to be a sequel to that topic. Unfortunately, there's only seems to be two of us this time, unlike the other, the other conversation, which was like about five or six people. I forgot how many of us were there, but yeah. So Kai, what did you find? Uh, okay. Basically, I found a, a video of um, this guy was talking about uh of of like certain anime characters and video game characters being like dark skin depicted as evil or not or not being represented in a good way. Mm -hmm. So so basically, he explained like you know what was the problem. And I was like, okay, I see his point, man. You know, there's some colorism, um, you know, there. And, you know, a lot of people, especially young children, they are, you know, depicting on that, especially on colorism. Like, okay, white is good and black is evil. And um, for me, I was like, okay, uh, you, you, have, you have good points right there. But to me, um, I feel that you should let another... Why are you, why are you depicting another race and telling them how they should depict these characters? Because one, they're not gonna get like any like, uh, you know what what's what's um what's the word I'm looking for? What's uh not fair? I'm looking for another word. What's not what's what's not okay to say? Okay, well you're you're well if you're this certain type of skin color then um. You're okay, cause you know Japan, we, Japan or like those other Asian, Asian countries, they don't have the same similarities that we do as America on how race is handled. So mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like, heck, man, why don't we just make our own characters? You know, I mean, <laughs> it's hard to sell, but that's how I feel about the situation. What, like, like Mr. Popo, man, yeah, Mr. Popo <laughs> is probably a perfect representation of like, wow, this is a reputation of black people. And, like, how are you supposed to tell, like, somebody in Japan say, oh, that's fucking racist. Well, they don't have that shit over there. It's, yeah. It's not it's over there. So yeah, I mean, I a lot of it's, like, unintentional for the most part. Yeah, yeah a lot of it's unintentional, and they're kind of unaware of it. So it's like, well, yeah. what can you say? You know? Yeah, yeah. Because um, I actually kind of notice a bit of uh, the opposite in some cases, where the character's color have changed entirely. Yeah. Yeah, like, um, I got two examples. Like, the most modern one would be Nico Robin, because when she's first introduced, she's, like, very brown. Yeah. But as the years passed on, like, uh, especially by the part two of the series, she's got, her skin has gotten way whiter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I just, yeah, you're right about that. Yeah. I she was a lot a little bit darker and then she just was completely white <laughs> yeah then the older example would be um Rao or Rao you know Kenshiro's brother from Fist to North Star because um okay this was a little debatable because supposedly the um the original manga illustrations that he was meant to be depicted like a bit of a lighter skin but um, in the anime, he's a, he's shown as like this really dark brown, like black hair, like person. But um, as the years passed on, there would be like um, illustrations of him can keeping the dark skin, but it's like a bit lighter, and then his hair would be blonde. Oh. But but then there's two more later down the line, because even later, um, like in Ken's Rage, like his hair would be white, but his skin was brown. But then around the t the same time when those new movies came out, he was completely white. Like, his skin was really, like, like a very, very light brown, maybe? Or very white, but his hair was white. So, I don't know. And then you get Legends of the Dark King, which makes him look more, I guess, American-ish. Because he has, like, a normal skin color, but blonde hair. Right. 
So I don't know. It's been going back and forth, whether like what design what design works. <laughs> so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, like we, we, we can go we can go through another we can go to, or for another example, man. Uh, Berserk, man. Like if you remember the the opening of twenty seventeen uh twenty sixteen of Berserk, they mm -hmm. made Costa lighter, and I was kind of like, ah, oh, she's supposed to be a little darker, bro. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of strange because in the actual episodes and the, during the, you know, both flashbacks and the actual scenes, her skin was still like normal. It was still like the the brown that it was always was. But then um, yeah. later on on the home video releases, the coloring was fixed in the opening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was kind of, that was just me getting nitpicking. <laughs> Is it just us three? It, well, I added Zoro in case he shows up, but yeah, you know, let me just hear. But shot basically, what's going on is that um, there was this video that Kai found that was talking about um, uh, or maybe or did you see the video actually? About is is it the one that you plugged uh stop making all the evil people brown? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So that's what we're what we seem to be talking about, and we're and we're just gonna see where we go with this. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, since uh, since we started the call again, like just uh, we actually have an extra person who showed up to the party. It's shot anime. Hi. Sorry. It's all my fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that means we have more time to party. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. We're, we're talking about race. Yeah, yeah, we're so yeah. The, the current topic is just about like I don't know. We'll just see where we go with this because um, I, what's kind of different over here though is that then you have shows like Steven Universe who has all you know characters of all colors. So you know, like literally all colors. <laughs> yeah, it's like, all they're all named colors. after color. <laughs> Blue, yellow, orange. It's yeah. like yeah. Yeah. So, but um. I do kind of like well, what would you think because where do you wanted to ask me specifically Kai like how I felt about that or yeah because yeah, I, I do admit that I think there is a lack of um like representation of like uh, characters of different ethnics and that's, I think that's what Marvel and DC have been trying to do recently but it's always with their minor characters for the yeah. most part like uh like Firestorm from um, from DC. They there are some interpretations which interpret him as an African American, or you know the the uh, Caucasian male, one of the two. But uh, maybe the biggest example is you know freaking Nick Fury. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I mean like from David Hasselhoff to <laughs> Samuel, Samuel Jackson. <laughs> man, he ain't even say motherfucker yet, man. I'm still waiting. <laughs> We're the motherfucking Avengers. <laughs> Say it one time, man. I swear to God, your movies will make even more money. <laughs> just for that one catchphrase. Yeah, just, just for that one catchphrase. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I, I mean, I, I didn't make, I didn't try to make this like a downer topic or anything. Mm. Just like, huh? Yeah, I mean, I see your point right there, but you know, I guess. I'm not the expert in Japan where we don't have, like, the same, like, uh, you know, uh, a lot of, like, racial discrimination here than we do in, uh... uh no, there's racial discrimination in Japan. Oh, um, okay. Can, 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 and please, in Asia. Can, can, can you please talk about that? Uh, okay. So, the, the Asian racism, I guess, within... Uh, okay, there's, there's two different things. Are we talking about, like, straight up black... People are we talking about within the Asian community? Um, so it's it. actually um, dark skin bias within the Asian community, um, and that's kind of unfortunately all across across all Asian countries, all across the board. Um, they all kind of have the same thing. Um, so I have an example. I have a cousin. She's in high school, and she came in when she was thirteen. Um, her father and her brothers are all naturally really dark skinned, and I. I guess I'm on the lighter side. We're from the Philippines, right? And my, when she first got here, my parents were convinced they could make her lighter if they just kept her indoors. <laughs> and there were times that, like, you know, she would be walking beside me, and my mom would be walking behind us, and it would be like summer, right? So we're in shorts and everything. We're bearing a lot more of our skin, 
And my mom would, like, tell her in Tagalog, like, oh, you can't walk next to Rosalie because you look even darker. Uh, Rosalie's me, by the way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, it, it does exist. Um, you know, like, they, you, you'll hear, uh, especially a lot of parents from my parents' generation, yell at their kids, be like, don't stay outside, you're going to get dark and stuff, and that kind of thing, especially with girls. So... Mm. Yeah, men usually um, have a more, <laughs> it's weird, because like, for example, in Japan, if you're like a little bit tan, you kind of have the stereotype of being athletic, because you're tan, and then so therefore you're kind of cool, but if you're a female, they usually, um, yeah, they usually don't like that, like, they kind of, that's why they still have like a bunch of, just uh, similarly in Africa, the skin bleaching stuff to try and make your skin white. They even have makeup in Japan um, that actually bleaches your skin at the same time, which I didn't realize because I, when I first moved there, because I didn't, I couldn't read anything when I first moved there, and I remember like I mistakenly bought, because um, most of the makeup at that time anyway, that was the trend, was had, had like a kind of skin bleaching agent in it, and I remember getting one and putting it on my face, and then just having it be like, why is it burned? <laughs> like, it was, uh, <laughs> burn off just, like, and I never had, uh, I never used it really, but it was just kind of there because it's just, it's kind of expensive. And I remember um, one of my ghetto friends spent the night one time. And then wait, 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 you say ghetto friends? No, no, ghetto, ghetto. Uh, oh, you're supposed to say like, yeah, yeah. Right? Gyaru, J-E-Y-A-R-U, that's like for the girls that have the, you know, the blonde hair and the tanner skin, right? Oh. Kind of, right? Like as a, as a trend. Um, and she was there and. Uh, she's like, well, you know, your makeup is darker than mine and stuff. The only white, whiter makeup that I had um, was that bleached one. And she's like, oh, I use this anyway. And she, like, put it on. And <laughs> she was totally used to it. I was like, doesn't that burn? And she's like, yeah, but that's the whole point. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, no, it, it totally does exist. Um, because, you know, you stay inside. Um, that means that you can afford to stay inside, you know? That you don't have a job that's outside in the, working in the fields and stuff, so it, it is a class thing. Um, it's so yeah, and you can hear there's a lot of um, as for like African Americans, there's a lot of like half black people in Japan or just straight up like black people that are living in Japan. Um, a lot of them, uh, there's a lot of great ones um, on YouTube. I would recommend checking them up to hear their experience and stuff. But yeah, it definitely yeah. exists. I, I heard, well, uh, sorry if I cut you off, I, I was, all I was going to say was, like, yeah, I heard, like, uh, like, people who live in those Asian countries, they have, like, experience of, of not, not being ridiculed, but, like, being, like, questioned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it doesn't help that, um, so, especially, like, in the city areas, there's the stereotype of, like, those Nigerian guys that, like, kind of push you to buy stuff from them. Have you heard of that? No. <laughs> okay, okay. So, like, in, in Japan, like, they usually have, like, a store full of kind of, um, like, African-American-centered hip-hop clothing brand, for example, and then they'll have, like, one of their guys standing in front of the store, and they'll just kind of, I don't know, it's, it's weird to describe, but they'll kind of, like, look you in the eye and be like, you need to buy this man and stuff, and then, like, drag you inside. And then they'll just be like, you're going to like, you know, they kind of pressure you to buy things. And so th th those kind of people actually exist for all stores, even people for like, um, you know, hair salons. They'll have like guys out there that are like, what are sitting inside a hair salon, not Nigerian ones, but like, it just, I'm just giving an example. These guys are called catch, like, and so they'll call them catchy. And so um, the whole, I guess, goal of these guys that stand outside of the school the stores is to literally catch customers and just kind of like see hey are you interested in this and i will admit like there have been a few catch people that have convinced me to get a haircut they would just be like stop me and be like hey what, you want to get a haircut today i'd be like yeah, i'm not doing anything sure <laughs> wow i'd be like is um, but the, 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 i guess the nigerian guys that you know try to push you to either go into their bar or their clothing store are have the stereotype of being really pushy about it and so, like, when you, I, it's sadly, when you mention, like, a black person, like, that's the first person that most Japanese people who, you know, are used to going around and shopping think of. It's just that really pushy, 
guy that just kind of bullies you into buying the thing. Wow. I, mean, <laughs> I, I met, I mean, I met a lot of guys like that, and I just have to tell them, nah, bro, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, in Japan, like, you don't have that culture of just, like, being straight up and saying, like, no, right? Like, it, it, this Japanese language is just kind of like this dance of, like, oh, well, I'm not going to directly say no, but I'm, we're going to have, like, this dance where, like, you're going to see the underlying possibility that I might not want to, and you'll pick, on, pick up on it real quickly. Um, and it's very super ambiguous, and, and so I think those types of catch like really take advantage of that um there's also a lot of catch for um sorry this is completely unrelated but for like host bars and hostess bar like kyabakura kyabakura is for the hostess bars right and so we'll, we'll have the girls standing outside and be like do you want to have drinks with me or a guy standing outside being like do you want to have drinks with me um so they yeah i, I guess city nightlife in japan have a bunch of those kind of catch um so yeah. <laughs> cultural ticket <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm learning something new. Here, yeah. here, did you learn something, man? <laughs> yeah, I sure did. I'm taking notes. Fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's good. You're going to be like, see uh, what... Uh, well, I don't know. Like, I mean, like... Uh, I'm more, like, worried more than anything. It's not like, well, I totally will not fit in the Japanese society. <laughs> yeah, so I guess um, more related... I Let's say, like, more Latino men and Filipino men, actually... Um, have the stereotype of being really bad, uh, disrespectful um, romantic partners. And the reason why is because you have a lot of Filipino men um, in the Philippines having the stereotype, again, of running like a pub or a hostess bar. And normally, like, they'll be like a Filipino pub, right? And then they'll like get women, they'll traffic women from the Philippines to work at their pubs and then treat their women unfairly in the same way that like a pimp would treat the prostitutes unfairly, you know? Um, and so, because that when you mention like a Filipino man or whatever, like that's the first thing that people also think of is just that. And so, so much that like usually when people ask where I'm from or what my ethnicity from, I have to always specify just so I don't get, um, they don't assume that I work at like a Filipino pub, um, that like, Oh, I'm uh, American, but my parents are from Philippines, but I grew up in America and stuff. And then that's where they don't ask me those kind of questions. But if I don't specify, they'll just be like, oh, like, do you work at a pub? Is a Filipino man treating you badly? <laughs> For real? Yeah, it's, it's, it's got those kind of undertones. And stuff. Because most of the Filipinos in the Philippines do work in kind of um, sketchier nightlife situations. Um, not all of them, but like some of them also work uh, undocumented, working in, let's say, um, factories. So, um, yeah, if you are Filipino and you are darker skins, like, you have that stereotype as well. They'll just assume you work at a factory, just like the, uh, if you're Brazilian, they'll automatically assume that you work in a factory and that you're, like, um, breaking the law and stuff. There's a huge, uh, it's really a xenophobic culture, but it's just, it's one of those, um, have you ever heard of the, the Seattle culture where they call it the Seattle freeze, where they're extremely polite to your face, but it doesn't mean they want to be your friend? Uh, no. No. Okay. Yeah, so Seattle has that culture. They call it the Seattle freeze, and that's very similar, almost exactly to the T, the Japanese type of icy politeness, um, where they will be polite to you to your face, but in, on the inside, they're just like, okay, go away now. Like, I don't want to do <laughs> And so that's how there's, like, they're, their xenophobia is so, like, I guess subtle. And so if you are a very um, rosy-eyed American person and, like, someone gives you five minutes of their time, you'll totally walk away it, it, be thinking, like, wow, that person was so nice. Like, everyone here is so nice. But once you start to learn, like, the little, very slight mannerisms and stuff, um, you'll start to realize, like, oh, okay, like, I just made them extremely uncomfortable, and they were being polite to me to basically tell me to go away. <laughs> so, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll get a lot of that, I guess, if you're not, like, your normal light-skinned or, again, the, the cool, dark-skinned Japanese guy. Um, yeah, you'll, you might run into that. So if you're like African American, if you're like six four, they think you're a basketball player. Kind of, it it depends. Like if you look, um, obviously like not Nigerian, 
right? They'll just assume that you might be here playing um, basketball professionally or something. Like, it'd be people in different cultures carry themselves differently, right? right. And so um, it, that has a lot to do with it. Um, it's, I, I don't know. I mean, like, in, in anime, they don't really talk about it very much because most of the characters in on anime are, like, the same skin tone. Yeah. Actually, I was thinking about one character right now that is surprisingly not have a change in skin color despite being really old already. Okay. Is, is that um? I was thinking about Gogo Thirteen because he's still like a really dark, um, dark colored character. So I'm just kind of wondering how do people like um, kind of like react to him, or you know, like are, do, mm. do they do they mind or they don't mind at all? Well, again, see that's a guy, so right, and then but. but character of that series is just oozing with coolness, right? And badassness. So, I mean, that kind of overrides whatever um, stigma I get mm. from his skin color, I would imagine. Mm. So... Yeah, because um, be- um, yeah, b- before you showed up, um, we were talking about like some examples, like uh, there were some cases where Raul or Rao from Fist of North Star would have like skin changes, but uh, I also told Kai that the most modern example of that might have to do be with Nico Robin, since you know she was originally like really dark and then she became white in like in the current oh, world. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah, she was darker, but I mean, gosh, I wonder if uh, that was that's probably was not Oda's call. Mm-hmm. I mean, because as you see, our culture and American culture, I mean, like it's getting well. Actually, cultures all across the world are getting more and more conservative, right? Super ultra conservative. Yeah. And actually, the same thing is happening in Japan. So it's kind of all across the board about that. So that, and I, I noticed that um, with how conservative cultures get, like the wider that people get, like in the industry, mm-hmm. in the entertainment industry. Um, in the Philippines, like, all of the people who are famous are light-skinned, whether they're guys or girls. Um, same thing in Vietnam, Cambodia. Like, they just get, like, these population that happens to be light-skinned only and um, put them on TV. So, hmm. Yeah. Sound like Hollywood to me, but okay. Yeah, it's... It's, it's strange, because I remember being... The kid in the 90s, you know, where it was very hip and cool to have the people of color in movies and on TV, right? Yeah, that, no, 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 I, I, I'm not going to make this a long rant or anything, but go ahead. No, that's it, that's all. That was just yeah, yeah, because like, oh. we're basically <laughs> continuing our previous, like, fan group call that we had then with, uh, you know, the whole whitewashing and all that, so. Oh, yeah, well, I'm just saying, like, I think that was also... Similar with a lot of anime, anime, because if you think about it, this is the North Star had darker skin people, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, what is it? Um, like it was just more. Well, actually, uh, to see a dark actually, um, especially what Elhazar had mm-hmm. a lot of uh, darker skin characters too. Well, not a lot, but yeah, because. Yeah, because um, right now I, I was just thinking of another, like two examples with Fist of North Star, because um, like Kinchiro's older brother Raul has been flip-flopping into what color he's supposed to be like there's been many versions of him dark skin with black hair dark skin with white hair white skin with blonde hair or different ones but i actually noticed that king so, that um i don't i you actually need to take that I, i'm not doing i haven't seen it but mm-hmm. i would recommend that you take all of those pictures and put them all beside each other yeah. and actually just see if the skin is the same color because, um, like, for example, a lot of people don't realize in Bleach, Ichigo's fairly dark-skinned, but you don't realize it because his hair color doesn't contrast that much mm. with his skin. And so he appears lighter skin, but he's actually very dark. So, I mean, it could be um, Rel in Fist of the North Star, like, when he has the um, lighter hair, could be just same skin color, but just seems like he's lighter mm. because of that contrast, you know what no, I mean? No, he's still pretty... Uh... <laughs> No, <laughs> he's still pretty you got dark. Pretty white? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give you an example <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'll show you right now because. Like... Yeah, well, the thing is, like, I don't, I don't even remember what the original author's intention. Like, I've been hearing that he did want the hair to be like a bit lighter, but uh, okay, like here's like um, that was from like a game from the mid two thousands, 
And this is a movie that came out around the same time. So. In con- uh, yeah, yeah, but but in contrast, though, Kenshiro went in the opposite direction. Like, he actually has been getting darker with every uh, anime appearance. I'm not sure why, but... <laughs> it's not dirt on his face, man. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe this is just, like, a, a secret commentary about privilege. <laughs> like, the power is powerful. You get the more white you get. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Griffith, though. <laughs> Griffith, well... Well, I don't know, Griff is like, <laughs> well, uh, Griff is just, get, I, I, I don't know, I mean, Griff was like, like, white as hell to begin with, and then, you know, when he turns evil, he becomes purple. <laughs> yeah. When he reaches his final Frieza form, is that it? Like, <laughs> I guess. Well, yeah, maybe that's true, because, you know, Frieza's final form makes him a purple face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it went from white to purple. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's like, oh, what? what I mean, when you pointed that out on your Facebook, I was like, well, that's based on the, the Chinese monkey folklore, but yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, if Goku was a black dude, man, I don't know if all hell would break loose. Or they'd be like, no, that's cool. I mean, he's beating the shit out of him. So, so <laughs> apparently, Asians also have, like, the, you know, calling an Asian a monkey is also, like, a bad thing. Um, I actually had a co worker who got in mad trouble with that. Um, so he had a student that was like, you know, calling his, um, my friend, the teacher at the time, like a monkey, being like, oh, you're a monkey, you're like a monkey, you know, and he's a white guy, right? And he was just joking around with him, and he goes, no, you were a monkey, right? (laughs) And the kid went home, and he told his dad without the context of the situation, and the teacher called me a monkey. So... (laughs) His dad came into school and got like pissed off, being like, "You are not having your white teacher like make racial like commentary on my child." <laughs> that was a huge mess, but <laughs> so you know. And then I remember him being like, "God, I didn't even think about that at the time." God damn it! And stuff. <laughs> monkeys and shit that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I mean, because the kid was like five, right? You know, and. Yeah, so he, I don't think he really, especially being in Japan, I don't think he really knew of that connotation, no. but I think the dad, you know, because um, his dad spoke English, probably spent time in America and was familiar with that, but the kid certainly didn't, so right, he just right. innocently told his dad, like, oh yeah, the teacher called me a monkey. He just thought he was playing like animal games or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, he just got to be careful. Yeah. Like all that death is saying a monkey. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, race cars. Yeah, yeah. so here's the Kenshiro examples. Like, that's, you know, 80, 83, he 84. Looks super, he looks super Mexican, by the way. <laughs> Wait, who? Oh, the kid? Or? Look at him. I see him. Look at him now, I'm like, whoa. Yeah, he does not look Japanese at all. Yeah, right. Okay, so... Um, in the middle of our conversation, um, someone else showed up for the podcast. It's Zoro, yeah, it's Zoro Fanboy One Two Four. Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. It's a crazy day, but uh, yeah, I'm happy you guys did, were doing a call. I jumped in a little late, but better late than never, I guess. Yeah. Fashionably late. <laughs> uh-huh. No, definitely not. Fashionably. What a cool guy. Like, but uh, well, were you gonna ask me, Kai? There was something I was, I was gonna ask you. Did, did you ever own a Neo Geo? No. Okay. No, no, no. Unfortunately. It's in a hospital. I don't know anybody who knows Neo Geo. <laughs> yeah. It's either Nintendo, PlayStation, or uh, Sega. <laughs> yeah. Mm, I grew up with Nintendo uh, for the most part. PlayStation 2, then an Xbox 360. Okay. Original Xbox. Then there's. You don't have a PS4? Oh, now I do, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, through the years. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I'm just expecting, because I'm just saying, like, nobody I knew ever had, like, a Neo Geo game system. It's impossible. All right, game, uh, GameCube, not GameCube, uh, uh, Dreamcast. That yeah, was, I'll add that too, man. Dreamcast, man. That's some, a lot of rare games on there. Good times, man. Good times. You know, good mm-hmm. times, man. Sonic Adventure, Power Stone, Crazy Taxi, uh, Crazy Taxi, uh, uh, Jet Grind Radio. 
Twitter took our video. Yeah, I was the stuff. Mm. <laughs> you can't hear you, it's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got headphones. <laughs> okay. Watch my language, like. Yeah. Kids. Oh yeah, actually, uh, the people that uh, worked on Jet Grind Radio actually did the music for the Sonic Rush games. Wait a minute, is it the, wait, is the Sonic Rush games, is it the, uh... They're the DS. Is it the recent one? No, no, Sonic Rush is the DS games. Okay. So yeah, right, those right, have cool. the soundtrack that's similar to Jet Grind Radio, so it's pretty okay. awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, remember Bust the Groove, you guys? Well, wait, 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 Bust the Groove, wait, uh... Bust the Groove, not Bust the Move, but Bust the Groove. Bust the Groove. What kind of game was that? So it was a dancing rhythm game, so like... Oh, with the game. channel, with the channel Space Lady? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I could have that game, Wait, yeah. uh, is, is that it? I think so, I don't remember. <laughs> and it had, like, that, um, Gasso guy in there? Uh, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find a video and I'll show you guys right there. But anyway, keep talking. <laughs> hey, I just, hey, remember, uh, did anybody have, uh, Sonic Adventure Man on the Dreamcast or Game? I have, I have, have a Vaughn GameCube and on okay, PS3. I'm just saying, for both of you know, Shadow came out, everybody was like, riding on Shadow's dick. Yeah, there still are, yeah. man. Okay, <laughs> like, I've, I've always been Knuckles fan, so, man. Knuckles. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I remember, man, that whole game was Sonic Adventure 2, like, the whole, the police couldn't tell which one was the fake Sonic and which one was Shadow. It drove me nuts, man. Damn cut. <laughs> one is black and one is blue! <laughs> I don't know, man, they, they had something against, you know, the blue hedgehog for some reason. <laughs> yeah. What's up? Oh, I, I visit this channel a lot, actually. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, this channel has, like, a bunch of uh, videos that I use for footage, <laughs> so... When oh, it comes cool. to games, yeah, yeah, they have PSX long play and all that stuff, because that's where I got it. was the first thing that popped up, so. Yeah. I was totally addicted to this game when I was younger. Man, I'm... Damn, what? <sighs> yeah, oh, yeah, that's why Dreamcast, they, they got killed by the PlayStation 2. That's what happened. Yeah. It's a shame, but... Yeah, it's it would have lasted longer if they had, like, I think... I'm, that's my, yeah, I think it would have lasted longer if they came out maybe between the years of when the PlayStation is N64 came out and they had a DVD. Boom. Mm. Maybe. Maybe. It's yeah. hard to say. It's hard to say, man. You know? It's real hard to say. Yeah. But, um, yeah, did you guys hear about, uh, I know it's a little change of topics, but uh, Hunter Hunter's coming back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's kind of, uh, the manga form, right? Yeah. Manga. Okay. yeah. Hey, man. Probably, you know, maybe, I mean, it'll probably only be for like 30 seconds, but it'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look. Uh, okay, I have a question. Okay, it's the you guy. should just straight up get one of his apprentices to just do the art and he should just write it. I don't know why he doesn't do that. Yeah, exactly. Because I feel like he's just, maybe he's not fully invested in it anymore. He doesn't mm. care. <laughs> really Dude, what is Toriyama is doing? Like, well, Toriyama yeah, doesn't right. really care either. <laughs> You've lived your life. You don't want to do it no more. We get it. You don't want to do it. I get someone else to do it. <laughs> Canon Super oh, Saiyan Woman now. Super Saiyan Woman? Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I didn't see the episode today, so I didn't know. Is that, uh, what's her face? Uh, Cauliflower? Uh, yeah, yeah. And then the, then the other one, the, uh, yeah. the Bro yeah. Girl Lee appears next week. Cal. Her name is Cal. Who? Bro Girl Lee. <laughs> That's Bro, not, not, not her. It's just who someone appears next week. Who? Yeah, uh, Bro Girl Lee. That's what I call her. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, and, and her eyes are. Oh, Bro Lee. Yeah, bro, girly. <laughs> I'm not curious about this of Super in general. 
No, me neither. Uh, <laughs> but I watch it anyway. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's bad. It's yeah. Bad. <laughs> yeah. I watch it, man. I'm like, hey, I'm sticking with it, man. I watch yeah, it. I, I, I watch it. I think if you just don't expect anything from it, it should be okay. <laughs> That's the problem. My brain is like, I can't turn it off sometimes. Sometimes I can. It's weird. Certain yeah. things I can turn it off for, but certain things are like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, shut up, brain. Let me enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, don't try to think of it. Just be like, oh, that happened. Yeah. You know, it's, it's unfortunately... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Dragon yeah. Ball in particular. Maybe it's because I'm a reviewer now. If I was just a fan, I might have not. But it was, you know, ever since I started reviewing, I just look at shows a little bit differently. Mm-hmm. And certain things certain things bother me now that, that wouldn't. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Like, actually, <laughs> actually, for me recently, after five years of watching Fist of North Star, I noticed two characters that did not need to be part of the story at all. Yeah, like, well, you know, um, Zoro, like, uh, Ryuga and Juza actually did not have to be in the story at all. Why do you say that? Yeah, okay, because you remember Ryuga, the one with the ice, whatever. Okay. Okay, remember, his, the whole reason he was there is to say, is to kind of think that, uh, well, at least in the original series, not in Legends of the Dark King, that um, he's supposed to be there wondering, like, uh, who's supposed to, you know, rule the earth, whatever. So, and... In the anime, his whole thing was to kill Toki so Kensho can, you know, be persuaded to fight Raul, but he was gonna do that anyways. Right. <laughs> yeah, and Juza, as manly as those scenes was, he actually did the opposite of... Because his whole goal was to slow down Raul so he won't, you know, go to the castle. Right. Yeah, but ironically... It work. Yeah, ironically, you know, the fact that he fought Juza and was wondering, like, Juza, tell me who, who the person is. Like, no, I'll never tell you. Aha, uh-huh, but that actually... Ironically, that actually f- helps me figure out who the actual person is. So, <laughs> and he right. gets there faster. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we kind of did not need There's him to be there. Actually, a plot device to help Rao realize things before he actually got there. Yeah, because but but the thing is though, the even though Rao got there, the fact that he fought Juza, like that fight didn't slow him down at all. At all, yeah. Yeah, so I'm like, <laughs> it's like I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know because that's one thing I noticed with that arc is that it's pretty questionable how that five chariot stuff is, and then obviously the whole amoeba character is like, yeah, I am, I am really Toki. They're like, oh, I am not Toki at all. Sorry for pulling your leg these past few episodes. <laughs> oh, okay, that's ask. funny. Yeah, yeah I don't no, know. I think you get, we got a point. He's a great character. I kind of like him a lot, so I didn't mind it. Yeah. Like well, that's the thing, too, because like, I'm aware that this guy serves no purpose, but I still watch the episodes anyways. <laughs> but I don't right. know. Yeah, for some reason. So, I don't know. That, but Eric, it was our times for being a reviewer. This made me change my perspective on things a bit. But there are times... There, I mean, there it's, yeah. it's good in some ways, but it can be uh, a little troubling in some ways. Yeah, because you, know? you feel like an yeah. asshole to yourself sometimes. <laughs> like, um, yeah. I don't know being a reviewer made me think this, but me and Kai were talking about it on Facebook earlier, about how we can't watch things that are too weep. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know, like, I guess for me, like, I kind of outgrow that shit, and now that I'm, what, 26, I'd be like, man, this shit is dumb as fuck, or that shit's lame, bro. Or they, they have, like, inside jokes that you won't know unless you're, like, super deep in it, you know? Yeah, so they, Yeah, they have a fan base for that, which is cool, but it's just not for me. That's what well, specifically yeah. we're talking here. Yeah, yeah. So, what specifically are we talking about? Uh, Shaq, can you give out an example? Mmm. Okay, well, alright, alright, alright. So, I obviously thoroughly enjoyed it enough to where I watched it from beginning to end, but ReZero is like, I'm gonna get so much shit in it. Okay, mm. ReZero is, is one of the, those examples. Um, Just basically, a lot of the ones that are just kind of in the do you know what isekai is? Mm. No. Have you heard of the term isekai? I had no. to, I had to have someone that was kind of deeper into the whole topic that she like explain it to me. Isekai just is basically like uh, where it's a different world, and then the main oh. character gets thrown into that world, oh, okay. and, they, and then they have like a bunch of like weed jokes that you're like, ah, I can't relate, really, you know. <laughs> Type situation like uh, no game no life kind of situation like that. Yeah, well, I, I actually liked no game no life because it made fun of the weave thing. Yeah, it yeah, because it, it, it really made fun of the weave thing. Like I think it's okay to have like 
a lot of otaku culture stuff in it if you're really smart about having that be relatable to like the normal person right. i think that's when it gets clever but um when it's just you have to be that when it requires you to be that lead person to get it that's where it just kind of falls flat for me mm. if that makes sense we're having like a potty pillow and just doing like rocky stuff with it. <laughs> I'm like, no, oh, dog, it's just a pillow, man. It- no, well, she's, right. like, she's my wife. Other people have their pillow and stuff like that, but like it, it, it's, it's like it, you're required to have that pillow to enjoy watching a series. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's oh. that's fine. I just don't want to. I just don't want to know like, like the line like what? where you dive overboard is the pillow. That's basically <laughs> really quickly because it's weird though because for others like the line would be something that we have already crossed it <laughs> from our watching anime in general I'm talking about it on YouTube. Oh. So it's like, yeah, yeah, no, totally, totally, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I remember like I had I went to my um, high school reunion and that was when I was still making the Shaw anime videos like super regularly and uh, one of my other friends just like brought it up and then one guy just could not let it go and he was like I can't believe you do that like you. Talk, you go on YouTube and you want to talk about anime? Like, who does that? And he was just totally mad dogging me the whole time. And I was like, okay, well, I didn't bring the subject up. But. <laughs> well, actually, there's something I want to bring up that. There's, there's two things that kind of relate to that. Yeah, yeah okay, so on the whole weebness thing, on the whole weebness thing, there's actually um, this one cartoon called We Bear Bears, and there's one character that I, it's a total fucking anime weave, oh, and I hate that. Freaking uh, Panda, for some reason, the Panda one, he's like really into anime, but the thing is, he even has like a hug pillow, and calls it Miki-chan. So I'm like, no, why does that have to be on Cartoon Network? <laughs> why? <laughs> you even see him feed Pocky to it. Yeah! Well, that... What like... else? Who else uh, makes or has a tribute to anime? Um, to the Gumball? World of Gumball, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but they do it like references, like in a joke thing, not like... Yeah, in a more of a tribute way, right? Yeah, and it's also the most mainstream stuff, like, you know, Dragon Ball, or or, oh. that, or that one episode oh. where the um, Studio uh, 4C did, did that one fight scene. Of course, made fun of anime. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about Tweaking Craig? Probably with, with the, the Yaoi. Yaoi stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. Yeah. They had like the, what was the episode where they all like were ninjas and they all have like, transitioned in an anime form? Yeah. yeah. And they did one with Pokemon. The Yaoi one was the best thing you gotta do. That was awesome. Yeah, this, this is kind of I should have submitted art for it, god damn it. <laughs> so regretful. Some of the art was kind of nice. I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. man? I'm not even joking. I'm like, Sorry, it's really nice. <laughs> Don't judge me, damn it. Hey, exactly. I'll, I'll care if y'all judge me. I'm free. Right. It is what it is. Uh, free for everything. Yeah, I've done, done a lot of that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of references. I think they, they become a little bit more common because anime in general is becoming more common. So, yeah. I'm still waiting for an anime to reference Trump. Oh, they already had. They were. Oh, actually, actually, Sean, they already did like two times. They did. Who? Cool. Yeah, one was like. Um, I'm pretty sure it was done in advance, because um, okay, you know how in South Park they had those two endings, like just in case whoever you know whoever won. Well, no, in in anime, in anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I'm getting to. Is that um, because this okay. thing, this thing popped out like the same week after the elections ended. So, okay. Yeah, hold up, I'll link it. Uh, it was in Tybocon 24, and then there's actually an anime about Donald Trump also, but it's called Donald... It's called something, I forgot the name. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I haven't even watched this show. No, yeah, I do. <laughs> That's how I know. <laughs> Is it good, though? Um, I mean, it's good enough <laughs> to me. I don't know, it's, it's silly fun. What's the name of it? Uh, uh Tybocon 24. My review is actually on the side, and the... <laughs> The, ah. the one with the the one with the purple bust, you know, that's the, the, the that's my I, thumbnail. So. <laughs> Does he have little hands in the end? I don't know. That's the only scene that they did that. So I was like, just right after the election. So yeah. Then um. 
I forgot, but there is like a web short that is based on Trump, but I, they don't call him Trump, obviously, but you know it's him. Yeah. I forgot the name of it, though. I've seen that, but they basically have, they can do like the name, they can do everything. All they need to do is like literally put a bar, like cross their eyes, and then they can copy someone who's like, <laughs> and that's their version of censorship. Like, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Is that even effective? I always wonder if that's even effective. So, I see all the time. There, there is, it's a, it, it is um part of it's it's part of the law to censor that mm. to require that bar, mm. but there is no law on how big that bar can be or how much it covers up. Uh, <laughs> just pan the camera down and just have the people yeah, like like, eat like over the mustache, like, just, you know, like a little like a little mustache. And people, that, so pretty, is that that's all you need really? It's like a little yeah. Bar. Well, I mean, I don't know if you, like, looked up, um, from Naughty or Manga, <laughs> but it's kind of the same thing, where you're only, like, one, one little strip, like, not covering Oh, it. like, in eyes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I think that a lot. Yeah. Right, it doesn't cover anything. Like, it's required by law to have it, so they put it in, but it doesn't cover anything, because they make it hella small. <laughs> oh, okay, I found the name like, of the... I already know what it is. Yeah, you know, here it is. There's, here's the name. It's President Trap. <laughs> oh, no, I already don't like the uh, the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, that happened actually this year. So, well, actually, well, obviously everything happened this year. What am I, what am I saying? So, happened in March. It looks like Kim Jong Il and yeah. Trump put together. Oh. That's crazy. <laughs> so ugly, I just have to keep staring at it. I know, it's... <laughs> hey, at least it's not, like, you know, barbaric or super, super weird. Well, I don't know. I think it's weird enough already. <laughs> Life is stranger than fiction sometimes, but... So what are you guys watching this season? Okay. An anime? Yeah. Uh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you got reverse. Uh, I'm behind. <laughs> Very behind. Uh, well, I don't know. Every every week, I, re- I talk about those things on the podcast, so I'm not just gonna. I just narrow it down. A lot of these shows that are popular, I just feel like they don't appeal to me. Yes, yes. I'm like, dang. Like, mm. did I lost pace for anime? No, it's kind of. It's just, it's not necessarily lost for anime. It's just that they're they're. I feel like I don't. I could be wrong. It could just be my perception. But a lot of the shows that are coming out kind of, you know, give me that thing that you guys were talking about earlier. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's just not from what I enjoy anime for personally. You know, even like a series like R Zero, like I haven't seen any of it, but I feel like I know I would have been like it based off of it because it's about waifus. Mm-hmm. It's uh, who's yeah. I'm like, not, 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 not for me, man. I, I think the last anime craze I watched was Yuri on Ice. Because I wanted to see what was the whole hype about it. And then <laughs> I was like, alright, I get it. But I was like, man, why don't they just finger bang each other? <laughs> get it over. Finger bang you into my life. Yeah, man, they should just finger bang each other. I'm just saying, like, just give just give the fans what they want. <laughs> Even <laughs> Watch the next episode to see if they oh, do. Man, they should have done it, man. They should have mm. gave each other a hand job while. Oh, like, no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. <laughs> Calm down, Kai. Gosh. You know what? I think somebody made some art. No, man. Somebody made some art like that, man. I know it's happening. Sure they did. Sure they did. Yeah. Lots of I'm just saying, man. Yeah, so those oh, are. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew one girl who loved Yuri on Ice so much that she wasn't ready. I was like, um, uh, I think you should change your underwear just in case, because you know you got super, super excited when you were talking about Yuri on Ice. But you know that's just me though, because yeah, yeah. So it was part of the convention scene too. It was one of those easier ones to cosplay for a lot of people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'm like, okay, that's cool, man. It it was just that anime that just wasn't for me, but I I stuck with it. Mm. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> so, for, for, for the, sh- the series that are out this uh, uh, for this uh, season, what do we have that's 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 good being talked about? Uh, um, I I don't 
No. What's no. Me? Well, let me actually go through it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know that it was, this is an older series, but they just came out with it on catalog on Crunchyroll. It's the um, Blood Block Brigade or something. Well, that's still like in war, in the works, though. The Blood Block okay. Battle from Beyond. Yeah, that one. Mm. A quick question so, is, is not the movie still, still going on? I don't know if that was last season or this season. I was watching that. It, it's um, it's, it's kind of still game. it's going right now. So yeah, I love I love that. Yeah. Show. That's, that's I know that we were watch we are currently watching the Hero Academia. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did too. Yeah. That's that's one. I forgot. Uh, what else? I don't think I can watch Edomanga since so I'm not going to. I am watching well it's like the sixth season already, um Natsumi no Eugene Cho. Yeah. So, I love that I love that show. Yeah, it's like it. it's like a I don't know, it's a weird love of mine. You would think I wouldn't watch that kind of show, but I love it. I don't know why. I feel like anybody could watch it, you know? Like literally yeah. anybody can watch that show. It's kinda of like um it's like a what was it Mushishi? It's almost like a light more lighthearted Mushishi. Yeah. Yeah, not well, it, I mean, sometimes some episodes can get as dark as that, but not... Well, actually, no, I take that back. No, they don't get that dark, but... <laughs> yeah, in the middle of the episode, but by the end, everything is okay. Yeah, that's true. You know? Yeah, in Mushishi, uh, not everything ends okay. It's like, yeah, no, no. everyone died. No, it gets depressing. <laughs> it gets depressing. <laughs> I, I tried to watch... Wrong, but it gets depressing. Sakura Quest, but nothing happened, so I don't watch it. Mm. Um, I am watching the Tsuki ga Kirei. But it moves so, like, excruciatingly slow. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, but it, it does have a really high ranking right now, this season especially. Um, well, one of the, I think it's probably a culture thing, which makes it really, uh, what is it called? It's, it's actually extremely down to earth and what an actual, um, I guess love romance would be for high schoolers in Japan, but it's just, it's so annoying about how they don't voice shit, and it's like, you can solve your problems if you just fucking tell each other shit, but alright, but you're just not going to. So it's literally like a plot that's, that's living off of people's thoughts that they don't tell each other. <laughs> Makes sense. The plot could be resolved <laughs> easily. It's just, I know. Yeah. I didn't tell him that I didn't like the color blue plot thickened. He's like, it's. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I think I'm getting too old. Blue is a beautiful color. <laughs> I don't I want blue. Um... I don't like blue. I like turquoise. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued, JoJo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I did really um, enjoy the eccentric family, like the first season, but I, it's been so long that I kind of forgot what happened in it. But the second season's out. It also has a really high ranking. Um, I this it's not on country, but I really like, uh, and I hope they come out with more episodes. I still like what is it called? Um, Nanatsu no Taizai, the Seven Deadly Sins. Seven Deadly Sins, yeah. Oh yeah, I finished the first season. Yeah, like it came out with four more episodes, and I was expecting that they were gonna come out with like a full twelve, but they didn't. So I was like, no! <laughs> Why did you only make four? Pretty good, Pretty good. Yeah, I can tease. So, is the manga really good? Yeah, I mean, I have. I'm not caught up uh, at this point. Um, I don't know how far the anime has gone. You can, uh, what, what was the last thing you see? If you saw with the anime in terms of what was happening? Ah, oh, okay. Spoilers for people who haven't seen it. Um. Gosh, let me. Because I want to ask you. Oh, like that guy is trying to revive, or just revived the other guy. That makes sense. The, uh. In a while. <laughs> yeah, the, but basically the ultimate boss from the first arc. Okay. Like, he, he's just been revived. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'm a, a bit ahead of you. Yeah, the manga's really good. I, I, I enjoy it quite a bit. Um, there was a couple of, like, reviewer moments where my head was like, that's stupid, and it kind of made me purple <laughs> for a while. But it, in general, it's a really good show. It yeah, really good. yeah, it's, it's very reminiscent of, like, how anime used to be, I think. Right. So you, yeah. you, you, uh, you, you've been introduced to King, right? Or no? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so, like, King's backstory and like uh bond's backstory that's probably my favorite uh 
uh, a lot of my favorite backstories have been like shown in the series. So they're really well done. It's just there are a couple moments in there, and the, the main female is kind of annoying too. But other than that, the show is really good. I recommend yeah, that. Yeah, she's pretty guys. clueless, huh? Yeah. That Elizabeth. Yeah, she's terrible. Okay. No, 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 I wouldn't say terrible. There are a lot of worse uh, females out there, but she just has her moments where it's like, come on, girl, get it together. Yeah. Like, no, I'm gonna be reckless for no reason. Oh. I don't know. Wow. Yeah. That's a small, small thing. The show in general is really good. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my hero Academia is really good. It's uh-huh. doing, it's doing things, man. It's doing things. Yeah, I, I like it. It's um, I feel like that's also one of those shows that like you can, uh, like anybody can watch it as, as well. Definitely. Does it matter? Yeah. It's broad appeal, it says. I mean, superheroes um, at any You get a kick out of the uh, the American lines on it. <laughs> oh, you watched it <laughs> No, I mean, like, for example, the, they use, like, a an American city in the uh-huh. rooms. Yeah. Right? What is it, like? Yeah, it's like Atlanta Crush or something. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like Detroit that. Smash and all that. It's funny because, like, when, uh, in, the first, in the first season when Deck is doing his training, right? Yeah. Um, with uh, with all might to prepare in like the first couple episodes, um, the city that he's or the place that he's training in is the I think Dagobah, and then another city is called Tatooine. So I'm like, this dude's clearly a Star Wars fan. because yeah. <laughs> they're making Star Wars references in like the first couple of things. So he clearly like likes American movies uh, and has a major American influence. And all might's like basically Superman, and, you know. Yeah, he's like got the American flag color. Yeah, he's definitely. Yeah, they definitely got some clear inspirations there from for the for the superheroes. So yeah, I just find that funny. I don't know. But it's really good. It's really good. Yeah, that's it's kind of the only one we're excited to watch every weekend. Everything else, like I just kind of watch if I'm bored. Um, I although they're very extremely brief. Like when I say brief, like they last like 15 seconds. The fight scenes in the super mini series. Each episode is only like five minutes or whatever. Um, but I just started watching it because I was like, meh. And then I saw the fight scenes. I was like, yeah, those fight scenes are kind of nice. <laughs> let me see if I can find you guys. Like, just uh, uh, probably there's probably a compilation of the fight scenes already. This is, is really quick. It's basically about a girl that dresses up as a boy, goes to the to the an all boy school that where everyone's just kind of a. Like a badass? Yeah. That's cool. Uh, I'm trying to find this back scene so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Okay, mm-hmm. okay I found it. Uh, I'm going to link you guys right now. Um, what I linked is like the artwork yeah. that uh that my author, My Hero Academia, does. So take a look through that, Zora. You'll see all the influences he has. Ooh, I like it. Yes, he put in the um, American Superhero Woman legs. The big thighs. Yeah. Wait, like this? Where are you? I'm sorry. Oh, that, um, it's the uh, My Hero Academia's creator, like, all of his fan art that he's done for a bunch of things, and you'll see his influences there. Uh, how do I check this out? Oh, uh, like, I put the link right there, like, the Crunchyroll. What? I did not see that. There uh, we go, I see it. Now I'm right. Yeah, it has a Deadpool on, it's a thumbnail, so. Cool, I'll check, definitely check it out. By the way, have you seen the, uh, there's a really well done, uh, uh, kind of animated video where it's like, it's Gon versus, uh, uh, Miria. Um, it's really well done. Uh, with, like, character stuff and, like, Hisoka is in it. Just check it out. I was watching it today, actually, so I feel like it's... Hisoka? Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's like, uh, Gon and Miria, they fought in, like, a tournament kind of thing. It's weird, because you have, like, Killa was in it, and Hisoka's in it. It's not, like, just, like, a quick battle. It's, like, a whole, like, story almost to it. It's really well done, and the animation is incredible. Um, at least, uh... Oh, it's like a fan animation! Yeah. Okay. It is when you get a minute or two, because I mean it's pretty long. But uh, yeah, when you get it's really really well done. I was surprised actually. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'll check out that. uh, uh, Yeah. See this Crunchyroll link. Welcome, Punch. Falcon, what's up? Yep, yep. Yo, what's up? Yo. Never get into the call. She just have the audio like the Falcon Punch. That's the proper way to enter any call. Yeah. Yep. The fight scene I was going to show you is our, is the YouTube one. Don't click the Crunchyroll link. But and I and then again, it, it's super brief. I, I like the way that it was 
animated. Because it's actual karate. Uh, where, like, the karate is so fast that you can't see it, kind of thing. She's the pink character, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, that's the only reason why I watch the show. Like, everything else, I just fast forward through it until they get to a fight scene. Right. <laughs> Suck. Shit. So, Falcon, we were talking about what we're actually watching this series, and it sounds like the only one that's kind of good um, for, I mean, this season is the Hero Kanemiya. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd probably agree. I mean, I heard there's two other series. I didn't give a chance in the beginning, but I heard they turned out pretty alright, so I might watch them. What are they? I heard Reek Creators was pretty good. And then, uh, it's the one where the guy who did Black Lagoon did the character designs, I think. Uh, and then, what was the other one? I forgot the name of the other one. It's like something, the right decision or right answer, but it's like a CG series. But I heard it was also pretty good, but, yeah. Oh, the Blame movie on Netflix. Did you watch that? It just came out. Oh, I haven't watched that it's one yet. CG, like a, a 3D oh, model kind of type thing. Oh, that reminds me, I finally saw that movie shot. What, what movie? Those two strings. Oh, you did? Yeah, finally. There's some long... What did you think? I like it. <laughs> I regret not seeing it in theaters. <laughs> right, it's so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, cool on the two strings, yeah. yeah. Nice, like the two strings. I'm like, that sounds familiar, but what? <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah okay. cool. But, yeah, I could see how I felt, like, a little rushed towards the end, or, I don't know, after a certain point, but, you know, I still like yeah. the whole idea. It's like the, ult the ultimate mother-son movie. Yeah. yeah. But I just think, like, the quality of animation is just, like, something that people shouldn't ignore. Yeah, yeah. oh, because, yeah. um, because yeah. during the credits, they actually, um, okay, when, in the scene when they were fighting that giant uh, skeleton to get the sword out, they had to actually build that thing to be, like, on a gigantic scale. So I was like, you know, it was yeah. taller than a human being, so I was like, holy shit, so they had to build that life-size. So that's one thing that was amazing, and then... But the only thing I don't... I, I, I kind of not sure how to feel about is the ending, with the, um, when they get rid of the, uh, the grandpa. So can we talk about the ending? Is that, is that okay with everyone? I've seen it, so... Yeah, I've seen it too, so... Okay, so spoilers for the people who are listening if you're recording this. Yeah. Uh, but go ahead, go. Yeah. Yeah. Not blame us. Get the hell off of me. <laughs> yeah. Or skip ahead, like, five. I don't know. Well, well, the thing is what I don't get is that, okay, so... Like, um, he's about to be the grandpa, and then the grandpa has no memories, and then and then he's only like, oh, what, have I been, what have I been doing? And then everyone's saying, like, oh, you're such a nice guy! I'm like, why? <laughs> It's like, well, um, like... You, you can't feel your problems sometimes, man, you know? The fact that it was kind of like, you know, he had a god complex because he kind of was a god, and the fact that, you know, he was brought down to Earth, so to speak. And, yeah, you know, that, but, that, that... but I feel he doesn't learn his lesson if he has amnesia. <laughs> like, the whole lesson was to show that, you know, being a mortal has its, like, even if we can die, you know, there's still something good to be hum a normal human. But then he goes down there, becomes a mortal, doesn't have any memory of what he's done or anything. Like he doesn't get his lesson. <laughs> yeah, like that is kind of true. He kind of gets brainwashed into the grandfather he wanted, right? <laughs> yeah, it was like, hmm. And then I don't know. But another alternative would there have been? I mean, he's kill him maybe, but yeah, I know. But he could be mortal. He could have like you know regret he could have learned to basically become more of a human by helping other people but everyone was just saying that oh you've always been a nice guy only like, i don't know i think you guys wouldn't be that forgiving right off the bat <laughs> maybe it was speaking to the fact that because he was kind of put in the position where he was a god for, for so long that you know he kind of grew into that but if you were to believe that he was a human all along he would have been nice mm, i don't know maybe i don't know i'm not speaking for the movie but yeah but that's I, don't know, I liked they, it. I, I kind of liked it because it was kind of a different way to defeat the enemy, and uh, at the same time bring some more uh, some positivity to the world. But it was, it was a twist. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. I, I mean, it's a pretty heavy movie though, because I mean, the end of the story is like, well, both of my parents are still dead, and <laughs> yeah, I'm alone. 
Like, hi, dad, hi, hi, mom. Hi, dad. Hi, mom. I mean, his mom was kind of hardly present anyway after a certain point. Well, that's what makes it, like, so hard because, I mean, even to the beginning, it's like he only sees her, like, for a few hours during the night. (laughs) Like, when she's, like, normal. Yeah, it's all like... Asian families tend to, no matter what, take care of their elderly, no matter what the elderly has done in their life, like, especially when they get kind of senile, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. I guess that's what so, it means with the amnesia. I mean, that's, that's <laughs> kind of, <laughs> it became senile. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to, like, get behind that, like, you should take care of your elderly no matter what, you know, like, um, but there's, there's probably, yeah, they probably mm. did that, because there is, there is that kind of cultural stereotype. I thought it was, um... I, I thought it was also a good lesson, too, that, mm-hmm. like, I, I guess parental figures can be human, and not they're not always going to be, like, perfect people, you know, for one reason or another. Like, for example, his mother was a uh, great mother when she was there, mentally, but when she wasn't, then it was just, like, you know, which wasn't her fault, and the son didn't um, fault her for that or whatever, but it's just... I, I think what they did with the grandfather was just kind of similar to what they do with the mother, is that they're only they're only human, and they're not always going to be super perfect, but if it's the only family you have, and you have the chance to, like, have a good relationship with them, which he, they did, um, by trying to re- rewrite his history, right, then yeah. they're going to take it. Mm-hmm. I think was the lesson, that mm-hmm. if you could somehow take it in one form or another and just take it but i i worry that that image also is going to be kind of misconstrued in the in a negative way for a lot of people hmm. well the other movie like that i saw like well this was last year but or two years ago i forgot but the other movie that i felt that had like pretty like more of a deeper look into it was actually like the good dinosaur because the message of that movie was pretty fucked up to me <laughs> Yeah, that was hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the good dinosaur. Yeah, the good dinosaur. The moral of the story, kill. <laughs> kill things. More like the forgotten dinosaur. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> the movie would be so fucked up if the roles were reversed. <laughs> or if they were more like, well, I don't know, or... Because suddenly all the characters, like, the whole story was about, you know, the father telling the son, you know, you need to kill the critters. Uh, they'll take away our food. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the kid is interpreted as, like, this cutesy little thing, but, you know, it, this means that the humans are primitive. They're almost like slaves to them. <laughs> the dinosaurs. So, humans aren't just inherently fucked up. Like, I always thought, for example, it's kind of random off topic, but, I mean, I mean, like, The Lion King, man, like, even before, you know, Scar did his, uh, you know, his, uh, his family murder there, I mm-hmm. mean, kind of jealous. Bye-bye. Before it all rainy. In, uh, in Pride, the Pride Lands, even before that, I mean, like, the way that they treated, uh, what was it, the, uh, I forgot what it was called, the, um... The hyenas? Or... The hyenas, there we go, the hyenas, the way that the hyenas were treated, man, they were, like, starving to death, and, like, Scar, you know, he manipulated them, but he basically, like, look, I don't know, I mean, you backed me up, at least I won't you know, starve to death, I was like, yeah, that kind of makes sense, I understand. <laughs> Long live the king, man, yeah, who needs a king? <laughs> yeah. You know, you know what's funny about the Lion King? Why couldn't Scar just ask his brother, like, hey, man, let me take over this king for, like, a week, man. I mean, I'd be a way better king than you. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's like, you know, you, you, you know. Also, not complex. Like, everything the sun touches is mine. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, calm down, so, Darth, Darth, Darth Mufasa. Oh my god, you know, you know what, this goes back to the, this goes back to the beginning of our conversation, Kai, you know, cause Scar was brown, but you know, Mufasa and Simba were like yellow, so. <laughs> uh oh. Cause at the very beginning of our recall, we were talking about like, you know, uh, about colors and races, how like, you know, villains are portrayed, you know, with darker skin usually. Um... Yeah, they're all going to be foreign. Uh, 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 Jafar? 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 J
I was and, darker than the uh, Aladdin. And, well, to be fair, everyone was darker than them. <laughs> yeah, everyone was darker than them. No, it's yeah. like darker than them, though. <laughs> darker than darker them. Darker than them, everyone's total dark. Like, darker than black. Yeah. I mean, let, let, let me, let me, Jafar Aladdin, Jafar Aladdin. Yeah, and his little monkey ran up. The one in, uh, in the mermaid kind of was, wasn't she? What's her name? Ursula. Oh, purple. Ursula kind of was. It was fat <laughs> shaming her. I can't think of too many other ones. The, the, no, but well, basically, Kai linked me a video about like how like uh, evil Ken and evil Ryu have like these evil forms, but their skin gets darker, and then you know uh, it, yeah, it led to other the things. Dark, no. you ever heard of the dark huddle? Yeah, I know yeah. the dark huddle. I know, I know. And I then, was question though, why does it make your skin darker? Because well, 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 you know it's called the dark huddle. Therefore, you know you get darker. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there was a video that Kai linked on Facebook. Yeah, because I mean, even like. I think she was more of an observation than a complaint. Yeah, it was an observation. Yeah, because I mean, the other characters I could think of would be like. You can say that in some games, but not for Street Fighter, that's stupid. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because. Maybe if they called it something else, the Green Hado, maybe it was a piece of people. That's stupid. Oh, God. oh no, I must resist the temptation the temptation of the green hot dog! Green hot dog, like seriously? Come on, little uh, boy. <laughs> Come on, Ryu, uh, and give in to the green hot dog! That's interesting, though, I gotta think back. I'm thinking back to like, like the most popular of the game villains. Do they do that a lot? I'm curious. Ganondorf. Actually, I'm just looking at Disney villains right now. No, 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 oh, the, the, no, the, the, the ones that I was thinking about was Rao and Yujiro. They're both brown, so. Yujiro Hanma, you know. Oh, oh. I'm talking about Yujiro Popo. But Popo's not a villain, though. Yeah, just video, oh. video game villains. Or just uh, villains in general. The part is Bison, and Bison's pretty white. Yeah, yeah, Eggman's not that dark either. Egg white. <laughs> uh, uh, Mortal Kombat is Shao Kahn. Shao Kahn's white. Very white. Uh, who else? Bowser's a reptile. <laughs> Bowser. <laughs> Sephiroth is Griffith, so, you know. Griffith, man, you're too white, man. Gosh, turn it down. <laughs> Alan Buster's white. One of the best villains I can think of are white guys. Yeah, maybe, that's, that's maybe that means something else, I don't know. <laughs> What's the video game industry trying to tell us? The, like, the, the white man are you? <laughs> Percent fuckers. <laughs> well, I don't know. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck the conversation. I don't know. Now I feel like the whole first twenty minutes of our call was like irrelevant. Now. <laughs> well, the first twenty minutes of our call, we just talked about um, observation culture more than we did. Yeah, I guess. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, in the anime series and stuff like that. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, culture. I wasn't there. No. Oh no. Um. So Kai was asking me about uh, dark skin bias and racism within the Asian community, and then also what do Asians in Asia think of black people? So we talked talk about that. Yeah. So. Nice. Yeah. I understand it's pretty bad. Well, yeah, another thing, there are other heroes that talked about it, but like yeah. in the older anime series, characters were like a bit more dark skin. Oh yeah, 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 yeah that's right. Yeah, like, yeah. The seventies, especially a lot of the. Yeah, a lot of main characters in the 70s were, like, really dark-skinned and black-haired, so... Yeah, they Brown. were. Like, it, 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 as an artist, too, like, <laughs> fan art or something, and then, like, I'll take a swatch of their skin, and it's literally, like, just the white swatch with maybe 2% of, like, another color. <laughs> <laughs> it's super white. Like, they just... As time goes on, the anime characters get whiter and whiter. Yeah. Yeah, you weren't here. You weren't here, Zoro, but we were talking about, you know, like uh, Nico oh, Robin exactly. as an example. So. Absolutely. Well, yeah, uh, Robin. Well, from what I understand about Robin, and I could be wrong, but this is what I was told at least. There was a uh, her original coloration was a mistake. Like they weren't. It wasn't supposed to be like that. But. Oh. That would make more sense though. Had, 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 well, tell me that. And then another group tell me, well, it makes 
makes sense because she was in the desert for the first part of One Piece for uh, many years, and then she spent years out in the frigid cold <laughs> in the north or uh, wherever she was. Uh, one of the blues was just frigid cold, so her skin was probably light up. But either way, yeah, I can see it's probably a mistake or something. Who knows? Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's what I heard. I've heard some people say it's because there was a mistake with her color originally, and some people say on the other side of things uh, that is because of the, with the area that she was in. If you're going to be hanging out in the desert, of course you're going to be a little darker because <laughs> you're constantly thinking it's in the sun. But I don't know. I don't know if it's one or the other. Mm. She's Who got that tan. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of hard to. We'll never to... know. But no, yeah. I. It's weird because I, I do notice like uh, 70s, 80s, 90s, there's definitely a difference in, in design. Yeah, I no, feel like all characters now, they're becoming not only wider, but less and less Asian looking in general. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like, mm-hmm. like, like yeah. your characters. You, you get what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm, it's only me that's seen this. But, um, um, well, I, I don't really see the 70s characters that Asian looking either, with honesty though. <laughs> Because uh, I, I think, because uh, I, I noticed that a lot of the 70s anime actually have Spanish dubs. So maybe they, they were picked because they look kind of Hispanic. So. Who knows? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, like, maybe that's why Saint Seiya is so popular <laughs> in Mexico. You, uh, you like, drop a, a lady of four who's 40 or 50 or a guy who's 30, 20, whatever, that never seen anime in their life, just an average, normal, whatever person that's never seen anime before. And you, you show them an anime series and without any audio, and you ask them, where's it come from? You wouldn't be able to tell it's from Japan just based on how the characters look, is what mm. I'm saying nowadays. Or at least how they look. Well, the generic I, yeah, they're, they're, they're all racially, ambiguously white, yes. Yeah, it's mm. just find that, find that weird considering it's coming from Japan itself. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. one of the best examples are like uh, the two shows, Gacha Man and Speed Racer. A lot of people didn't know the Speed Racer is actually Japanese. <laughs> Yeah. Really? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was Speed Racer, and then you know, freaking Tober the Eighth Man, because I mean, the characters actually look really American in that show, even though it's like really badly animated. <laughs> oh, because well, some of the earlier series kind of like tried adopting an American style, so I guess it was kind of like easier to perceive it as an American series due to the stylization of it, but. Yeah. Mm. The whole cell animation, colored cell animation, did start with American Animation Studios, and then she kind of was like, "Hey, this is kind of cool. Let's do it too." <laughs> yeah, you know, Tezuka was even heavily inspired by like Disney. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, like I, because they all have cut and paste faces, right? So yeah. it's kind of like there's not really a lot of diversity a lot of times with. In terms of like physical diversity in the facial structures, it's the, kind of you know, a lot of the animes just look. A lot of the characters just look the same. It's hard to tell. You know, yeah. so, you can tell the difference. I, I, in hair color, their hair. I, I feel design. like the more weak the show is, the more similar everybody's faces yeah. are. In the show. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, like most light novel series will look similar. That's why I, like, I kind of don't watch that many light novel series, even if they turn out good. Like I don't watch them at first unless someone tells me they're good. Because like, it just looks so darn generic. I'm like, why am I watching this? Like, the camera wow. design is really this, kind of appealing. This weave is too weavy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, it, like, the more weave you get, the more kind of generic you look. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, like, like, uh, to me, definitely like light novel series. We're talking about before the weave line, so to speak, for everyone. Like, where's your where is your weave line, so to yeah. speak? Like, okay, that's too much weave even for me. Yeah. Okay. Like, here's some images oh, okay. from um, the Eight Man show. What I mean, so. To me, it looks super American. Just... Yeah, I was gonna say, look, it looks like an old school comic. Yeah. Yeah, that does look pretty Americanized. That's true. Yeah, yeah see, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like Dick Tracy, man. Yeah, yeah, it's like. <laughs> yeah, actually, the the dub actually sounds like that since it was, you know, dubbed in the '60s. So they have those type of voices. Yeah, that's where I can see them, man. Yeah. <laughs> Now put them up. <laughs> now listen here, see? Oh. I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> you're not telling me a lie. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> coppers. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, you could go three stooges on this. <laughs> like, why I oughta. Hey, look, look here, see? <laughs> like, you see that? Like, 
and suddenly. <laughs> To me, that sounds like a game show. Like, how weeb can you get? <laughs> how far does it, How far do we will you go? Just say, sir. Zertura, you say you're, you're weeb, you're show it, but <laughs> that you can far as far as you can go. You show it, I've Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that you actually enjoy. There you go. Okay, actually, I've seen some weeb shows that I have not liked. It's like that Charger Girl show, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say fetish right now. Fetish, where like, people are in the Chargers and Charger Girls, like, it's like, oh yeah. Chargers! years ago, and I regret it, man. You are shock. Charger Girl, man, that shit is horrible, man. They got a dub recently, I think. Yeah, I know, they got a dub recently. Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't know if this counts. Uh, I don't know if this counts as weeb or just too edgy. But I don't know. The only shows that come to mind are like you know stuff like Keijo and Kill a Kill. But I'm like you know. Is a weeb like Cody? Is that bad? To me, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know how we. I don't back think it's in like. The day when I was like the number one anime. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was a very how otaku. Did, like Pokemon God's how did, how did, is, how did, oh. is pretty weeby. Yeah. Yeah, because it's very, you know, that little taco community thing and like, you know, stuff like Lucky Star, Genshi Ken, uh, Welcome to the NHK. Yeah, I'm not gonna go out and do the dance or nothing like that, but, you know, I like the shirt. And, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed Genshi Ken, though. Uh, yeah, I like the volume of Genshi Ken. Yeah, the, the Genshi Ken's good because it makes fun of weebs. It's great. <laughs> but see, I don't know, are they really weebs, though? Because they're Japanese otaku. They're not really. <laughs> That's true. No, no, they're they're all they're Definition. serious weebs. Oh, like even if you're yeah. a Japanese person in Japan and you saw them, you'd be you'd be like, dude, these guys are weebs. Like, like uh, right. so. well, I know later on there is a character or characters that are weebs that come to the like, exchange students. Oh, like the American weebs? Yeah. Yeah, like they come in later. Like, yeah, yeah they that they, they were actually portrayed pretty damn well. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think one of them just learned Japanese just off of anime. Oh. Yeah, and, and then <laughs> when she was there on the second generation show, right. um, she seems pretty. She was actually um pretty accurate because no. she, no, for example, was uh like she just how do I explain it? She bought into the entire like weedy culture that she just refused to speak any, like more Japanese, even though it was clear that she could understand. <laughs> Like anything, you know? So that was the interesting part about it. It was like, what? So you can, but you just refuse. Hmm. I'm not going to be the only one that's going to say my weave line. Alright, I'm not going to be. Someone okay, else yeah, gonna... okay. Next, next. Uh, Falcon, yeah, Falcon, you. There, there, let me think. Weave line with an anime series. Remind me. Let me see. Oh, you're uh, well, there was Monster Musume, but that's a different story. But like, that's crazy. Yeah, like, yeah keep that private, that Falcon. Movie. Keep it private. <laughs> so I watched like, episode 6, and then I was like, no more, I can't. I can't anymore. It was too much. I'm a yeah, man. Come on. Just want to give a quick shout-out. Uh, <laughs> quick shout-out yeah. to Monster Kurosawa for the quick. Just want to put that out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Quick shout-out. Yeah. I'll defend that monitor to my death, I don't care. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, next. Hero, what's your weebie show? Well, I don't know, I'm trying to figure that out. I'm like, usually I try to avoid them. Because, <laughs> uh, I don't know, the other ones that come to mind will be like Keijo and Kill Bill just because of all the uh, naughty reasons, but... 
I'm, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I've seen that's actually pretty, like, eh, weeby? Or one that I liked, I don't know. Decide if like Kill a Kill is just weeby or if it's just weird. I don't know. <laughs> you know? I would probably say it's more weird because, like, I wouldn't say too weeby because, like, I know he's getting, the director is getting inspiration for a lot of older series. Yeah, but. So, but trying to emulate. Yeah, the, the, it's the, like the, a weird, uh, kind of in, in between between, like, weebiness of, like, a panty and stocking and the kind of coolness of, like, a Gurren Log. It's right in the middle of that. I don't know, Falcon. I guess it comes down to like the question: Is going to guy a weeb? You know. <laughs> oh. I don't know. That's a, that's a. That's a research. Very question. Yeah, yeah, it's like mm, is going to guy a weeb? I don't know. <laughs> Let me think. I'm I'm looking at my enemy list, trying to figure out like what, what have I seen that's like that's kind of around that area. I don't know. Yeah, like, you know, get it in there. I'm not a weeb. I'm like, oh, I'm early. Oh, fuck the weeb. Oh, question, question. Oh. Do you guys think Yuri on Ice is weeb? I, I say yeah. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Cause I watched the whole thing. I can't like, know. I can't decide. Because like, if, if you take out all the, 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 the boys love stuff, then you just got, like, an ice skating show. Yeah. And very beautiful men. <laughs> They got the and like, yeah, the ice skating part was pretty legit. Yeah, and like, most ice skaters kind of like pretty looking people anyways. <laughs> in real life. Mm. I mean, I've never really yeah, seen like an ugly guy ice skater. Yeah. Like a prerequisite for being an ice skater. It's like, nah, you're too ugly, man. Give up that <laughs> You're too ugly for the ice. The ugliness of both the ice guy. You need to be with this guy right here. <laughs> they should make an ice skating series about a guy that is naturally ugly because his face is swollen, but the ice, when he's on ice, you know, like the ice keep, keeps the swelling down and he's like pretty. So he's only pretty when he's like ice skating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I, I think I found my weep show. Oh, okay, what is it? Needless. Yeah, the soundtrack is the complete opposite though. The soundtrack is like pretty fucking amazing. It's like, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, needless. That's that's my answer because I'm like, I don't know. There's stuff that I like, but then there's all that other stuff that I don't like. <laughs> Adam Blade, oh god, I remember, yeah. I remember so too well. <laughs> Actually, I, I kind of remember the other shows. I probably wouldn't watch them anymore because I'm older now and I'm not as like obsessed with like animated titties but like a lot of like old, <laughs> older edgy series when i used to watch when i was like 14 but like i probably didn't really pay attention to what was going on but um yeah. is that what you think not, not really tension it was like what was it, like girls bravo like really shitty shows if i were to rewatch them now like I, i'd probably like drop them but yeah candle con i think was one of them too yeah, those kind of shows. Those are pretty weedy. Tenchi Mario is pretty weedy. But I would like start it. I would like Tenchi Mario. It did. It, it was one of the ones that started the harem anime. That's mm. true. It's, it's, a, it's an iconic weave. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> one that actually can stand. The pioneering weave. That's yeah. what it's <laughs> the weave the part. <laughs> Oh, uh, actually, I found out that Tenchi Muyo was like somehow became influenced. Uh, the idea came from Bubblegum Crisis. Yeah, he just like redid the cast of the characters. Like, you know what? Let me uh, let me change this. And instead of the girls in hard suits, they just have you know you know Sonic the Hedgehog hairstyles. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you I consider like any like boy or cute girl series weeb? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then yeah, I watch plenty of those. So you are a weeb, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my, my weeb life is pretty out there. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stop. I'm, I'm out there. You know. Like shows that if you, I think like a good kind of uh, bookmark to see what a, exactly a weeby show would be would be like if a general like person on the streets uh, you knew that you watched it how badly they judge you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, then I'm way out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the average space. Yeah. Okay, what's the, first, what's the first couple of um, harem weeby shows that you can think of? Oh, harem. 
Wait, wait. I used to watch Impact. That was, that was a show I watched. Wait, which one? Breaking Good. Seki, Sekirei? Sekirei? Oh, Sekirei. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've heard of that one. Oh, wait. I thought of another weep show. <laughs> which one? Uh, it was the Witchblade anime. Oh. Yeah, because there's a lot of TNA. Oh, well, it's not really based on the comic. It's like pretty oh, okay. loose. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's one reason. Uh, that's another that one. Makes it more PG. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Did you mention what your weeb shows are yet, or not yet? Oh, me. Yeah. Hey, uh, I I've just been listening to you guys. Uh, okay. I think I think I can think of two. One was uh. One I one I actually liked, and the other one I hated. So I'm gonna start with the one I like was uh, Video Girl I. Mm. Uh, about the guy reading the videotape of the video model who comes to life, and he realizes. Oh, that animation is so great, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think the animation and story based on it because it's like he, he's doing this for something that's not really real, but it's kind of like heartbreaking too because it's what he's going through. So. Yeah. Especially with loneliness and, um, you know, especially if you, you know, relate to a person who's like, you know, is dating like this kind of ain't shit. But it's kind of cool and touching. And the one I really can't stand is, uh, is, is uh, Charging Girl. I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I've never seen it. Don't. You're don't. not this much. Yeah, I don't think I am going to after <laughs> hearing all of you guys, like, talk about yeah. your mistakes. Like, 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 I, I, I watched like a couple that. episodes, but, yeah. Like, ask yourself, do you want to see somebody urinate on themselves? No. Exactly, there you go. Hey, Kai, I was looking at Video Girl uh, Eye, like, and it uh, looks like the Josuke's post was stolen from this. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, look at it. I, I just linked it. Look at that post. That, that oh. was a common 90s post, though, so I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Josuke post. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it came out in 1992, so... Uh, well, I don't know. Depends on the year, I guess. I mean, uh, I actually want to Google that now. Nike's pose. Let me, let me yeah, like, that's when the first came out. Her, her I'd make Andy's purpose. I want to see if that's an actual thing. <laughs> I, I think I pose in, like, Dragon Ball 2. <laughs> they did? Everybody's doing that pose now. It's, it's, it's nothing now. Yeah, it does kind of show up when you put it in anime 90s pose. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Sailor Moon, Comic Con, convention. Like hands in the face. People I had to punch in the face, man. So. Yeah. Because I kind of had those poses too in like a uh, God, what's it called? The boy version of Sailor Moon. Um, Saint Seiya? Or no? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that one. Oh. We also had like hands in the face kind of poses. That one too. Why is my man wearing a, uh, a, 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 a Naruto cloak at high school? I don't get that. Don't judge me. Actually, isn't, we, we consider Naruto, Naruto to be pretty weeby, because I mean... <laughs> I can say their fans are weeby, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you're right about yeah. that, Kai. Hey, if you're, I mean, if it depends how deep you are into it, man. You're like, have the headband. Yeah, yeah, sure. Back. Yeah, that's more like not about the series, but your fandom. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, I agree with Kai. <laughs> Yeah, that's just bad, man. You got people running like Naruto. You got the headbands. I'm looking at a video right now. My man's with a Naruto headband in high school, man. Just running like Naruto. If you got like a Katsuki cloak and you wear it to school, that's pretty rough, bro. Yeah, yeah that, see, that, for me, that, like that's that, like that's rough. Good job of existence for me. That's rough. Rough. Like, yo, what are you doing, bro? And it's not even Halloween, bro. What you doing, baby? <laughs> 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 oh, no, 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 Jenkins, whatever the hell, the nine tail beast.
No, it's like it's it's like um. Is this the Doctor Slump butt? It's the... No, 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 no. It's something real. It's it's just a simple design. Oh, the lips. Not the lips. Lip. It's it's between their eyebrows. Oh, the, the, the eyebrow curl in Dragon Ball. Yeah, you're, like, you're looking in the wrong place, it's but whatever. Like whatever. Well, let me eyebrow curl. It's weird. Wait, did I see you guys the link? Oh, the... Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Looks like a butt, though. <laughs> right between their eyebrows. Yeah, I mean, it looks like something else. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Looking at the right picture, gosh. Chest hair. Marley was too much of a bitch to have chest hair. <laughs> yeah, he's too much of a dolphin. Bitchly. Think of the Team Four Star where he oh, jab, oh, he's so cool, but it's so oh, dumb. <laughs> sure, I'm sure the female version will make up for it. Yeah. Hopefully. No, no, that's someone else. Um, she comes out next week because uh, this week, uh, well, if you go in the chat, Falcon, hopefully you should be able to see the picture I linked. That's the the first Super Saiyan pop that. This chat or the other chat? This one. Okay, you just oh, see like, you, the one with the Donald Trump stuff in there, so. Oh, doesn't let you go beyond. Oh, let me go all the way. Uh, hold up. Yeah. I'll just we'll just put it again. Uh, yeah, because I was getting like. Oh, Donald Trump got it. Yeah, I, I told her about the you know the trap anime and then about oh, her yeah, yeah, and yeah, the uh, the appearance like, in yeah. Tempocon. What the fuck, October two thousand seventeen is going to be really interesting. <laughs> mm. Let me see. Oh, okay. I've seen. I've seen this, like, all over Facebook. Yeah. It's like, I'm not up to date with Super, but I know what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not up to date with Super. Right? I, I'm, I, uh, yeah. I'm watching you, but I know everything that's happening pretty much. Yeah, I am regrettably, so. <laughs> that that like, does Dragon look Ball like Dragon Ball I don't really mind yeah. spoilers for. I saw the story plot's gonna, like, really blow you away if you don't, you don't know what's happening. No, I, I still get blown away I, by my disappointment, so. <laughs> I don't know. I just want it to be better, but it's not. But uh, well, one thing I do is I, it super. yeah, but it's not super. But uh, I don't know. I, I just really like her hairstyle. Like it's like you know, it's so exaggerated, but I like it. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, for wait real? it's even up when it's like black. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, it, she's already have it up, so I'm like, it just turns yellow. <laughs> yeah, they got. Like, animators that lazy, where they were just like, I don't want to draw like blue lines. No, here's something. I don't some... think they got. 
Here's know, from the side. Look. Here's another angle. Look look at that hair. Just look, just look at it. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Holy shit. It looks like Sonic. <laughs> I am the like ultimate Sonic Super Saiyan. Saiyan. That would be Super Saiyan 3. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, if you think about her hair on the bottom, um, it kind of looks like Goku's hairstyle, but just super enlarged and from the side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It looks like his uh, Saiyan 3 hairstyle. Yeah. yeah. No, I was thinking... No. Remember that was a thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's all, you remember when oh, Super Saiyan God, God was a thing? <laughs> like, holy shit, yeah. remember? Remember when you needed to train for like, more longer than a week to like become strong? That was good. Remember <laughs> <laughs> when people actually use fucking martial arts? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh by the way by the way by the way oh yeah something else happened in super <laughs> remember the joke that i made <laughs> you know oh hold up <laughs> you'll you'll get reminded just, just no you'll get reminded with this pic this picture there you go <laughs> I know. If he doesn't, he doesn't edit the man. We'll just say what he's jumping at right now. We're showing Yamcha in bed with with Puar's name. That's name. Puar. Puar. They look very satisfied though, you guys. They look very satisfied. Puar's part of the news. Guys. Puar's part of the news. Do you think he makes Puar turn into Bulma? Yeah. Yeah. No. He makes Mulan turn into Bulma. Which Bulma? Which Bulma? Well, thank this thing. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but they don't care. Remember the other creepy thought? Does the voice stay the same? I missed this. Even though he, like, even, even though it transforms, does the voice stay the same? That would be hilarious. Is it like the pig? Is it the pig? Um. Yeah, Ulan kept the, you know, he still, he, he was like, oh, stop it, Yamcha, stop it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I wonder if he comes and why, will, will the transformation, like, stop or, like, disable? Oh. But then again, they can't hold that transformation for long, so, yeah. like, while Yamcha's doing it, he's going too far. <laughs> I think I think you're giving him too much credit, thinking that he would last that long. Though. Oh, probably just, oh you know, that's true. Oh. That's just a, probably just the right <laughs> amount of time. Uh, well, maybe he's just busy with foreplay. I don't know. Can he experiment? They make it work, man. Don't judge them. They make it work. Uh, wait a minute. Gotta okay. get the okay. best. Hey okay, guys, about war. I'm reading the Wikipedia page. And it's saying Toriyama has indicated in interviews that he had considered for a male while writing the manga. In Japanese, in the Japanese version, Poir refers to himself, her sir, as Boku, as sometimes referred as Poirqua, hinting male characteristics. Mm. Hey, wait, hey, bro, do me a solid. <laughs> 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 I'll get two bombers tonight. <laughs> two bombers. 
Yosha really shouldn't be. I mean, Yosha's probably loaded, man. You know, he's still waiting for them to invite him in the tournament, man. I know. I'm just saying, like Yosha's like he's a baseball player now. He's got millions of dollars, probably. Yeah, millions of zenny. You know, he should he should be doing well for himself. He shouldn't be living in a shack. Right, dude, you can fly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like. Yeah, no, see, like, for Yamcha, I mean, like, all things considered, he can live a pretty nice life if he, like, applied himself properly. Yeah. Mm. Well, the thing is, the like, Toei Animation yeah. not doing it any better, because, um, like, instead of trying to make the kid, like, the baseball episode, instead of, instead of trying to improve him, instead of continually making fun of him, so... Yeah, no, that, that's, like, when I heard about that, I'm like, come on, man, let the, let the poor man just catch a break. Like, yeah. what did he do to Toriyama? <laughs> yeah, man. He was a joke even in Dragon Ball, though. I know, but like he he had he had like, more respect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he had bad ass moments, man. Yeah, and, man. Like, like in all the tournaments, he was just paired against like the strongest person in the tournament, so it wasn't really it, his fault. For you know, there. AKA the guy that Goku would beat. <laughs> so. Yeah, so I mean, he basically fought against God. So like that's that's something. Yeah, but, but then yeah, he got he hit in the balls. A really weak guy. Yeah, but, yeah, like, but yeah, I mean, at the time, yeah, at the, at the time, time, I don't know. At that point, you know, Kami was, you know, he was, he was God, man. <laughs> yeah, then things escalated. It's like, oh, God? Question mark. Yeah, it's like, like you know, that God. Well, that God serves me, and then I'm a God that serves this other God, and then that, the, and then it just keeps going. <laughs> so it's like, ooh, how does this God stuff work? Even yeah. a supreme God isn't even that impressive. Let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then they serve the God of destruction, and then. Like, Supreme Gods are like different quadrants, and it's like it's a whole thing, man, you know? Yeah, there's 13 uh, gods, and you know, the other. Yeah, if anything, it's like more like the gods of destruction are more godly. Yeah. <clears throat> sure, they're not even the top. Well, oh, yeah, spe know, speaking of gods, power, yeah, speaking of gods, next week we're getting Frieza again. I think that's a stupid move. I think it's a terrible decision. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah, they kicked out Boo for sure now, because the preview clearly showed Frieza, like, a lot, so I'm like, yeah, he's, he's going. Yeah, because, like, I had a friend telling me, all oh, the reason why, they, like, he was trying to defend Frieza coming back, he's like, oh, because if they kept Boo, Boo would have been too overpowered, and, like... I don't know. But why are you the strongest on their, on their squad? Like, the fourth strongest. Maybe. Yeah, like, fourth or fifth, but... It's now go on to house from get that been training for, like, two weeks. Yeah. And, like, uh, you know, Goku and, and uh, Vegeta. He's either the fourth strongest. But I'm like, there's so many other characters that could bring back. I mean, like, imagine if they brought back Cell and then, you know, Cell with his whole gathering, you know, power from, like, other Cell individuals. Is, I'm sorry, Cell's more interesting and more charismatic than Freezer ever was. Yeah, so, like, like participating in the tournament, man, not like that. Mm. It's like, you know, the whole thing is, like, he gets his energy from, like, you know, other fighters that he's been around. So, like, nowadays, you know, you get that piece and all them. So, like, some will be, like, fucking overpowered. And he can absorb people, too. So, it'll be like... Yeah, so, you know, like, even I that... Some random person from one of the other, like, it takes their power. That'd be really cool to see, like, that dynamic in the fight, but no. Mm -hmm. Gotta have Frieza again. Like, so would be, like, scary as fuck, but, you know. Yeah, like... He's yeah, like, like, yeah, like, like uh... I'm like, oh, my Frieza. Yeah, like what uh, what Shot Link does yeah. is another good example of using Yamcha as a joke rather than you know trying to improve him at all. <laughs> okay, in, the, in the first picture, Yamcha looks like a rapist. <laughs> Damn, bro. And all of them, he does. Well, actually, he's supposed to, yeah. In, in all of these scenarios, he's the rapist. So. Oh yeah, god. Holy shit. Oh god, there's Chi Chi. Oh no! There's oh, one? No. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Yeah, the Chi Chi one was like, eh. Oh no. Yamata Yamcha! <laughs> Wait, but how is she on the Ninja's Cloud? I thought she wasn't pure of heart. No, no, she no, is she... pure. She gotta write it. Oh, like... Is she? Is she? Yeah. Not anymore. Oh god, Android 18. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really pissed off if they don't really have her fight as long as she mm. her. She's a yeah. yeah, she got yeah. God of Kamehameha. Mm. Yeah, but it like, took a long time. Yeah, that's true. Been yeah. fighting a lot longer. I don't know. She's like one of the strongest characters and then like she's gotta stay home because she's gotta 
be the mom. mom. I'm a little bit salty about that. It's a little bit. <laughs> World's strongest mom. Oh wait, 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 who who are you talking about, Shad? 18 or? 18, 18. Yeah, okay, yeah, I I was thinking that also when I made that video a while back. I don't know, that was last year actually, oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, because I didn't understand that until I realized, like, why is Kerwin going to go? Not her, you know, like, what the hell? Well, she's going too, like, so. Well, not at the Krillin was coming buddy. in, and Krillin was gonna go and like help defend the Earth, but not her, right? Mm. Um, and so we had this conversation. And I was like, "Why?" And then Shina was like, "Well, because both of them already died once, and you can only be brought back once. And it's better if Krillin dies and not her, because Ma- Manon is more like connected to the mom." And I was like, "I don't know. It's kind of messed up." <laughs> like, why is action action? Mm. Right. Well, so, well, the thing is, 18 gets to... Let's, let's be realistic. Any like, revival rules are bullshit anyway, so they can bring people back to us. Yeah, they, they, they can make, bring up some super... Yeah, they can go to their neighbors to get, like, you know, let's get their Dragon Balls. Fuck that. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, because with, with 18, they could resurrect her with, you know, the Dynamic Balls. Because it's the only time she died... Well, they never resurrected her, I thought. Yeah, okay. and, yeah, the only time she died was with Boo. No, 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 you're forgetting another time she died. When? She was a Thor. Well, does no, that count no, as that? They were resurrected now. Resurrection now? Yeah, when Frieza blew up Earth. Yeah, but, it, oh, like, no. but everyone... She used a Dragon Ball Serpent, but did they? She used a Serpent. No, they used a... That was everyone, though. Yeah, yeah, but that was a Whis yeah, turning that, back that, time. That, yeah, that was everyone. Yeah, but Whis yeah, turned but back time, that was so... The Dragon Ball. Yeah. yeah. Whis turned back time, so no one really died, so... <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Perhaps. Oh, I don't know. I just feel like, like, like this supposed to be kind of almost a sense of danger with a tournament that could possibly destroy your entire, uh, you know, universe. And I just feel like it's kind of weird that Goku's like, not telling anybody that, hey, there's something important thing on the line. Instead of like coming out with, hey, hey, just join this random tournament. It should be fun. Like, hey. Because Goku's an asshole. He's an asshole. Yeah. You see, like, I used to be on, like, the defense of Goku. I'm like, no, Goku's a pretty nice guy, but, like, everything from Super, I'm like, ah, you know what, Goku? I was not going to defend you, but now you're kind of, like, you're pushing it, buddy. Well, he's, 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 he's getting, he's getting older, right? So he's getting at that age where he's just, like, he doesn't care anymore. Well, the thing he's is, like, he's like, like crazy. He, has, he has to be at least 50. There's, There's no way. Long time, so it's not even like. The thing is, what what I don't get is that this this um decade, I guess we've been kind of destroying our heroes. Like both Goku and Superman, they've been interpreted as this pretty crappy individuals recently. Yeah, yeah like with Superman with the man with the uh, you know versus the you know injustice and the uh, versus Batman movie, and then you know it's like oh Superman's oh. a danger to all of us. Like but what happened to the days when Superman was like our greatest savior? <laughs> Don't I remember Jeff Christopher Reeve. <laughs> yeah, those movies are pretty bad, though. Yeah. Christopher Reeve. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. Christopher Reeve. Yeah. Well, see, well, like, Western comics, there was just a point in time where, like, everything had to be dark and edgy. I don't know, but yeah, Goku so, like, is being, I don't know, ever since Super came around, I feel like they've been trying to make him into Luffy, that's what I think. And... See, you know, the thing with Toei is, like, I think when they brought back Super, they tried, like, increasing all the cliches and stereotypes of Dragon Ball, and rather than just, you know, thinking those are stereotypes and cliches, they just actually thought that's how Dragon Ball was like, so they just, like, increased all that, like, tenfold. Like, oh yeah, Goku's yeah, dumb. Yeah, it's pretty much like a, <laughs> like the Japanese version of Team Four Star, kind of, okay? The sad yeah, part is, is that there's this canon. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I guarantee you that Team Four Star will be able to come up with a better Super than Super was. For him. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree with that. Yeah. Mm. I'm sorry. Four I'm trying, trying to be Peter. I'm just saying they really, they really know they're doing that, and they're fans. Yeah, this is the weird part. It was like even the humor is still stuck in the uh, in late '80s, '90s, early '90s. And the plot holes. So much. Okay, well, I'm gonna go, guys. So, alright. Alright. Okay. Thanks. Okay. 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 Okay.
maybe I should like a, maybe I should stop the them. the recording now since they yeah, have, yeah. have a lot of, a lot of material. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the moral of the story is um... Goku's uh, furrows look like a vagina. <laughs> yep. Uh, Pretty much. Moral of the story. Yeah, and, and also, you know. Bro, I put a picture here to back up what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Show, to show the world Goku's face vagina, please. <laughs> 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 I need to know. Oh god. It's <laughs> like a Dragon Ball fight. Goku will fuck your face, Janice. So hard. <laughs>